Hey, what's going on everyone? Steven E.W. here from the Imperfect Speaker channel. Thank you for tuning into this week's episode and without further delay, let's get straight into it. Hey, what's going on everyone? Steven E.W. here. Welcome back to the Imperfect Speaker channel and just getting right into the topic. A question that was on my mind, which is probably on your mind is, do you have what it takes to start right now? And the answer is absolutely yes. And I want to break down a couple of things that I know about you that you're probably not aware about yourself. And the first thing I want to start off with is your self-awareness. For the mere fact that you're looking at this and you're trying to seek out information so you can become your desired self, or you can become the better version of yourself, tell me that you have tremendous awareness that you are capable and that you are able to become something better than who you are currently right now. See, if you try to change anything from bad habits to good habits, or if you try to change old patterns to new patterns, you first have to have awareness that you actually are doing those bad habits. And for the mere fact that you have self-awareness that you can become your desired self or your better version of yourself, you're at a great advantage. So for the mere fact that you have self-awareness, give yourself a pat on the back about that. The next thing I want to touch bases on is your emotion level, your energy, your frequency. When you think you can't start something or you start procrastinating or you start giving excuses because you feel you have a lack of, and that can be lack of budget, lack of money, lack of equipment, lack of whatever, that lack of frequency puts you in a low vibration of energy. And you definitely want to stay out of this zone. Reason being is because it's almost like putting blinders on. Blessings come from a higher frequency of energy. And if you're in a lower volume, blessings might come your way and you're not going to be able to see them because you're in, it's like being on two different levels. So you're going to bypass all of the blessings that's coming your way because you're not going to receive them. So you definitely want to stay away from the low vibration energies, the lack of, and you want to bump yourself up to the higher vibrations like gratitude, because when you start tapping into the gratefulness, being thankful, love and bliss, these are higher vibrations of frequency of energy that you want to put yourself in. And when you experience these things, that's when you're going to start to experience blessings because they're going to be on the same level you are in that same frequency zone. So definitely stay away from the low frequency zone and lack of and things of that nature. And it's absolutely fine that you don't have these things right now. Everyone starts from somewhere. Everyone has to become a prototype before we see the end product. Take this for example, the will. The perfect circular shape that we see right now that's on every mobile that gets us from point A to point B wasn't what we see it as to be today when it was first designed. It was a piece of wood, probably had jagged edges, but it was impactful. Someone thought about it. Someone had a good idea. They took bold action on it and they cut out a piece of wood, even though it was jagged, but it was very impactful because they put it on some type of device and it got them from point A to point B. As their journey matured, as evolution went on and the state of being of the person who created that matured, so did the model version and the prototype of the will. That's you. See, I realized from my own experiences, when I dream, when I write inside my journal and on my vision board, I know who it is that I want to become and I give myself a timeline. This is who I call my desired self. But when I try to start, because we all know that the starting line is probably the hardest line to start at, I take where I start and that prototype of me starting, it seems like it's almost in direct conflict with the end version of me, my desired self. But it's supposed to be like this. And this is where things get lost in translation. Because when I start, I automatically think that things should come out perfectly or I should be set up with the best of this or the best of that or have this, these type of resources in order to get to the person that I desire to become. But that's absolutely false. Everyone starts somewhere. There's always a prototype and everyone has to go through the journey. And trust me, there's no wormhole to success. You know, as I started becoming more confident with recording in front of the camera and speaking, I told myself as well, Good ideas minus bold actions are great fantasies. And at the end of the day, if you can have all the good ideas you want, but if you don't take bold actions, they just become great fantasies. And what are great fantasies? They are just fantasies. So what you want to do is you want to take your good ideas, create bold actions, and you want to go ahead and make them manifest. Show the world why you were born. Show the world your purpose. And then if you start to use what it is that you have, then you can show the world in full articulation your full expression. So just use what it is that you have and you're definitely ready to start now. So keep that in mind. 
you already have the self-awareness that you have the capabilities and the abilities. Step yourself up from the low frequency of lack of and thinking, I don't have the proper resources, I don't have the proper budget, I don't have the proper whatever, and just remember the prototype of the will. The will that we see today is not the will that was designed, and that's going to be you. If you start today, you will definitely not be the same exact person that you are today a few years from now or a few weeks from now or maybe a few hours from now. And finally, just believe in yourself. You do have what it takes. No one here is trying to reinvent the wheel, but no one here is going to be able to do it the way that you do it. So stay tuned. And I hope this message helps. And if it does, please hit that subscribe button as well as the alert button so you're notified each and every time a new content is dropped for the week. Till next time, I'll see you.